Hey you guys, you're hanging out with me, honey. There is a lot to cover in Star Stable today. We have a very big quest adventure to go on that we're gonna go on here in just a second, but I did wanna cover a few new updates this week. First of all, Star Stable posted on their Instagram stories. Remember the blizzard from last winter that had a set as a reward? There was a specific week when a saddle and a bridle were the rewards, but the time was too brief to get them. Redeem blizzard to claim these two items. The entire outfit will be available next winter. Okay, if anyone played last winter, you guys know what a pain those snowstorms were. So make sure you redeem Blizzard to get your two free items completely free. And then when you check your mailbox, you can go ahead and claim each item. So here is what the bridle looks like. And then here is what the saddle looks like. Thank you so much Star Stable for fixing that because there definitely was a lot of errors with that Blizzard quest. The Traveling Bazaar is back for three weeks with amazing deals on horses, clothes, horse gear, and more. Right here in Moreland, you can just ride on in and this has everything you need including a bunch of clothing here which there's some really good deals in here like this western set right here i wish i could pick this up this jacket right here is 2500 jorvik shillings i definitely had my eye on this set i know this is at starshine ranch oh this hat goes perfect with my outfit i wish i could buy it but i'm definitely running out of storage space i cannot buy anything until they do their new storage wardrobe update so i am eagerly eagerly waiting for that so there's some clothing also over here here, we've got some cute little terriers. They said they've permanently reduced the prices on some cuddly terriers. Find your new best friend at the bazaar. That's a lot of cute terriers to pick from. So very happy they lowered the price on these. But the biggest thing are the horse discounts here at the bazaar. Right here, you can see two breeds that are for sale. 40% discount on the Appaloosa and Pertron for one week only. So here they all are. So the Appaloosas are now 540 and the Pertrons are 510. So if you've had your eye on any of these horses, now is definitely the time. I know I will definitely be purchasing some of these. I only have a few of the Appaloosas and I only own the app version of the Pertron horse. So I am really excited that these have now finally gone on sale. The only sad thing is that it's only here for a week. That is different than what they did last time at the bazaar. Previously, they would add in new breeds and they would stay there throughout the whole bazaar time period. But now it looks like they are changing that and wanting to do something a little bit different. Personally, I wish they would go back to adding in the horses and allowing them to stay for the three weeks of the bazaar instead of only making them like a limited one week thing. So I do wish they would go back to that. Okay, so now that we've talked about the bazaar, we're gonna ride off and we're gonna start the quest. So where are we going? Okay, the calm before the storm in Firgrove. I got my little fox all ready to go who loves adventures. And I'm pretty excited about this quest because it's supposed to revolve around the Vala Witch, which I personally really love the story of. Wait, what? Why is it telling me to go to Starshine Ranch? Okay, there they are. Hey, what are you two doing out here? Where are your riders at? While we wait for the life warden sapling to grow, I have devised the perfect way to pass the time. Oh good, we're gonna get a little recap of what's happened. Okay, so if we all remember, the adventure began when Beatrix rode into a bookshelf, revealing doors to an ancient Roman vault. Inside was a portal into the wild weave. To reactivate the portal and get the Vala, we needed to plant a life warden seed. From our research, we knew that John Jarl had one in his tomb, which he won after completing his trials. While riding back to the librarian, we ran into the dark riders, transporting dark Conium. Chaos ensued, but the Vala Witch Sieve ushered us through a portal to safety except not all of us made it. You must have worked bravely with the Dark Riders to contain the unstable Draconium because you made it back to Fort Maria with the seed in hand. You rode into the Forgotten Fields to plant the seed, but were stopped by Katja. Thankfully, Lisa and I swept in and saved the day. Which brings us now. We've been nurturing the Life Seed Warden Sapling consistently with hopes that it reaches full size soon. Now, back to the topic at hand. What a spa day at Starshine Ranch. Okay, these horses just wanna relax. That was a nice little recap because sometimes I do forget what happens in these quests because so much time goes in between. So that's really nice that they did that. Oh, there's Lisa and her dad. Hey, we're finishing up our daily chores. This is our beautiful Dottie. Our friend Marjorie is losing her sight. So she's having trouble finding Dottie in the pasture. Oh, there you go, put a bell on her. And here comes Marjorie. Who, the sheep? Oh, they're friends. I'll finish up the rest. You two go on and hang out and horseback ride and whatever else you do. Thanks, Dad. Bye, Dottie. Bye, Marjorie. Well, I promised Starshine that I'd help him with his spa day. You wanna join? Have a spa day with the horses too? Oh, she's riding with me. All right. Let's ride her back to her horse. Here we are. All right, let's do this. Might be the last chance we get to relax before the life warden reaches full size. Ooh, three different quests. All right, Lisa, what do you need? Can you go get my radio? Grab Lisa's radio. All right, Starshine, get a soaking tub for the spa day and grow carrots. <laughs> All right, let's get these carrots growing. Just put my hands in the soil. 
Do you think the magic you use on the life warden sapling works on carrots? Let's try it. Ooh, these are gonna be magic carrots. All right, add a little sprinkle of magic there. Looks like they're ready to harvest. All right, take these magic carrots out. What if they were purple like those carrots from the redeem code? Oh, they're not. They're just your classic carrot color. All right, give my horse a carrot. Here you go, enjoy the carrot. Go into Lisa's room, find her radio. There it is. She's got a box of star cookies. Those sound delicious. Are we building the spa day? Why did I grab a little plank of wood? Oh yeah, building a soaking tub. Oh, we have to build it. Couldn't we just go to the wild woods and just use their little soaking pond? Now let's build it. Oh, are we gonna soak in that with the horses? Thanks for grabbing my radio. Josh gifted this to me when I first moved here. I was super homesick, so he bought a radio that can tune into overseas channels. I listened to Texas Country Rock for weeks. Pick whatever channel you'd like. I can't wait to hop in and splash around. Go ahead, Starshine. All right, let's pick a music channel. Do I hear the music? Oh, I might have my music turned off. Okay, there we go. I turned my music on. I can hear it now. Oh, I love this song. Now we can relax. Would you look at that sunset? Let's get a better view. Wow, it's sunsetting already? Before I was a soul writer, I attended a music academy with other students who had big dreams and talent and a good helping of ego, if I'm honest. We used to put on shows for whoever would listen, but I bet you can find some of those videos on your tube, AKA YouTube. Some of our music was recorded professionally and we even toured a little. Ultimately, I stopped yearning for that life. Being a soul writer and saving Jorvik with my best friends, I can't imagine anything better. And riding horses daily. But enough about me. How do you enjoy spending your time on Jorvik? Adventuring and exploring, training with my horse, having fun with friends, taking it easy. Definitely adventuring and exploring. Look, Starshine is actually in the tub. This is so cute. I feel like something is gonna happen though. Look at the horses actually in the water. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying that water, Starshine. Yeah, the spa day was a good call. We all needed it. Oh, my phone is buzzing. It's a call from Linda. Ride with Lisa and Starshine to the Fort Pinta Ferry? It's happening. The life warden sapling? Yes, it's fully grown. And the portal to the wild weep has come to life. We're on our way. My dad is friends with some of the captains from his oil rig days. So with some convincing, I can get them to take us straight to Snowstorm Beach Harbor. Time to roll up our sleeves and get ready for whatever lies ahead. Here we go. This is new that they actually added in that you can ride along with the Soul Riders to the quest. I like this. Oh, and side note, you guys, I am really close to leveling up my player. If there's enough XP in this quest, I might be a level 23 by the end of this. Yes, exciting. We're here. Let's take the ferry. Back to Fort Maria. Are we ever gonna go way up here and see what's up here? Okay, we made it. Let's go in. I love this library. Okay, here we go. <gasps> the portal is complete, isn't it? That looks like that's ready for us to go through. Oh no, it's almost complete. All right, let's find Lisa. Oh, hey, Linda. Hey, you're finally here. I'm glad to see you too. Linda, are you all right? You seem a little distant. I think it's a vision. Tell us, what do you see? I see it in my mind's eye. The line between good and evil blurs. Did it even exist at all? I fear there will be consequences. Oh, there's Sabine right there. I fear there will be consequences of your forced collaboration with the Dark Riders. What is Sabine doing? She's using magic somewhere. <gasps> yes. Something will rise up from the depths and threaten to consume your Vic Hole. Ooh, but what? Can we learn more about these? Suddenly, I don't feel so enthusiastic about the mission ahead. Look at the floor. It's dark. Is the darkness happening now? Is Nark going to rise? Will the Vala Witch betray us? Are the Dark Riders gaining power? Will the Vala betray us? Trusting the Vala goes against all logic. But what choice do we have? We need to enter Devil's Gap to reunite with our friends and to get one step closer to transforming Concord. So the reason I called you here, the Life Warden is fully grown and it's given life to the portal that will take us into the Wild Weave. Then let's go, what are we waiting for? Yes, the floor is back. We can't just walk into the Wild Weave. It's a winding sprawl of ancient roots that mankind hasn't set foot in for centuries. We need a plan. Going into the Wild Weave unprepared could have dire consequences. Luckily for us, I did some research. There they are. Remember the chart that Mississippi Jones found? Uh, remind me? During our research, we read a letter from Mississippi Jones about how he recovered an archaic chart. Miss Holdworth found a fragment and deduced that it was drawn on enchanted paper. But since the chart was incomplete, it was useless. Well, I found the other pieces of the chart. And when I put it back together, I discovered it was far more than just a magical map. It's something extraordinary. It's a chart of the wild weave. However, something's wrong with it and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. It feels lifeless. It needs some kind of energy source to draw from. That makes sense. 
Mississippi wrote something about, about the map taking energy from the portal. I bet if we can connect the two, the map will come to life again. Just as long as it doesn't take my life. Let's do this together. Let's channel our magic. That's right. We need to call on our powers at the same time to connect the chart to the wild weave portal. <gasps> so here's the map. This is the official map. Okay. We did it. We completed the map. It worked. The chart is buzzing with light. I can feel it. There's nothing holding us back now. Enter the wild weave. Okay, finally. Let's see where this takes us. I can go first with the chart. See you both on the other side. Whoa, she disappeared before our eyes. You're next. Okay, here we go. Running, jump in. And go. Through the portal. Where is it gonna take us? Devil's Gap? My horse is here. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. You can see all the tree roots tangling down. Our horses, how did they get here? Oh, the horses jumped in. We're not on Jorvik anymore, are we? No, but make no mistake, we're not in Pandoria either. It reminds me of a place we rode through to get to Pandoria, that half of Jorvik, half. I don't know, really. We're neither here nor there, the liminal. That's where the wild weave grows. It's beautiful though. This is really pretty. I love how even the roots are now starting to have like little leaf branches coming off of them. Well, should we ride ahead? There's something on my map that says so. Look at this. Okay, let's check it out. Ooh, <gasps> careful, what is that? Um, There's some magic growing and some tree roots are taking form. Can I grab it and reach it? Can you jump over the edge? Oh, you can. Okay, let's not do that. Here comes the magic, it's coming back. <gasps> oh, it hurt my horse though. Whatever it is, it's causing damage to my horse. Okay, let's not do that. This is beautiful. Okay, path is split, but they lead to the same point. We'll go this way. Looking up at all of this makes me feel so insignificant. I can't imagine the last time someone followed this path. It's been a while. I sense the Wild Weave is surprised to have visitors again. I can almost hear the faintest echo of those who walked before us. Ugh, heavy stuff. What do you think, YouTuber? What's on your mind? Mississippi Jones, the ancient Roman sorcerers, life warden trees, the keepers of Aideen. Life warden trees. I can't help but think of Justin. When he sought the help of the singing you, he connected to something far bigger than any of us fathomed. Life warden roots are said to spread all the way to Pandoria. And they're here, too. Keepers of Aideen. I don't recall them ever talking about the wild weep before. Jorvik is an island teeming with arcane wonders. Even ancient orders like the Druids can't know it all. The ancient Roman sorcerers. The ones Miss H told us about? No doubt they walked this path before us. They were more advanced than we could ever have imagined. Their knowledge all but lost to time. Now rediscovered by us, Mississippi Jones. Hang on a minute. We just used his key to this place. He must have been here. We have to keep going, just a little further. Okay, let's keep going. Look at how far those roots go down. Uh, you guys, there's another portal. Oh, and then look, there's some areas here. Let's go see where those dead end to. Oh, magic's trying to stop us though. Oh, it just stops right here. Maybe some tree roots haven't connected yet here, so there's no portal. This is so exciting. See this one? Yeah, same thing with this one. It just stops right here. And of course, this one right here starts to go up and then nothing. Well, we made it to the portal safely. One more step and we'll be in Devil's Gap. We're going, guys, we're going. Time to do the map again. Did it. Should we go in? We're not there yet. Just a little further. Hop into the portal. Here we go. Where are we now? The Wild Weave. We're here. This is it, Devil's Gap. Ugh. The fog is so thick. I couldn't tell if that was you for a second. Find your way around the ominous Devil's Gap. Tin Can, Conquered, are you here? Hello? We don't know what lurks in these shadows. <gasps> what is that? Good idea. I see fireflies fluttering about. If we gather them up, they can light the way. But watch out for the red ones. They're your vegan snapping fireflies. Don't touch them, they bite. Okay, I am more than happy to finally explore Devil's Gap. I thought it'd be a little bit more hell-like, I guess. But finally, look at this, you guys. We've got basically two new areas ooh, to explore. My horse got bit in the butt just now. Here, let's put my little fox in the saddlebag. It might be safer that way. Yeah, it's a lot more just dreamier than I thought it would be. Ooh, stay away from that one. Oh, it bit my horse again. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them down here. There's a broken bridge. <gasps> Careful. Don't try to cross. Look at the ravens. Wow. Should I go up this way? Ooh, mysterious handprint. What does that mean? I wonder if the Vala touched this. Okay, there we go. Add a light there. Let's ride up this way. 
Ooh, or we can go down here. A little bit of some fog. Look how big these spider webs are. I don't even want to know how big the spiders are that created these. Hopefully we don't have to find out. It might be like the ones that appear at Halloween time. Ooh, look at this, a mysterious pool. <gasps> perfect. No, you can't swim through the whole thing. Oh, that would have made that perfect. Okay, light this one up. There you go. What's this way? It's really beautiful. Oh, dead end. To Jarlheim. Look at, there's a structure right there. Is that Jarlheim on the other side? Oh, I suppose it is. Look, you could actually see the little fireflies all meeting up in the bowl to light the way. Very cute. Oh, there's water down there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at the hand. It was twinkling. So much better. The acoustics in here are great. I can't believe we're inside Devil's Gap. We're probably the first humans to step into the enclave for centuries. The streets of Jarlheim are chock full of rumors of how Devil's Gap is a bottomless pit, but we're standing on solid ground. Who knows what else we'll discover about this place. It's so quiet. I can't decide if that's comforting or unnerving. We should push on and find the others. They're here somewhere. Yeah, can we go here? Looks like you're one of the mill protection spell. Miss Holdsworth and I stumbled across some of these in the library. I bet if we work together, we can dispel it. Yeah, let's try and the ravens will watch. There we go. <gasps> it's gone. And it created a path. Let's see where it goes. There's something down there. Oh, and there's some Pandorian crystals too. Should we be concerned about that? There's so much to explore. This is like the ultimate trail ride here. Yeah, why are these Pandorian crystals emerging from the rocks? Look, there's that stream. <gasps> oh, this is so perfect. Let us swim. Oh, yes. See, we can ride through this one. Oh, I love this. Oh, look. There's another hand. There's so many areas to explore. Now we can go up here. Oh, hey, there's Miss Holdsworth. Maybe she's gonna tell us what this is. Something very, very magical and important, I'm sure. Or what's up this way? <gasps> there's more letters and things. Oh, yep, like that, the Vala herself, right? There's one of those little manta ray creatures. See, the Vala. Does this mean we're getting closer and closer? <gasps> oh, there's a portal here can't jump into it. Oh, what is that? Um, there's three of them. <gasps> Look at bird's nest, candles going, books. They are definitely using this. Wait, it's Anne. What do you think, Anne? You're here in Devil's Gap. You're really here. Reunite with them. Thank Aideen, you guys are safe. That means you did it. You regroup the life warden and walk through the wild weave to get us, right? Yes. Is everyone okay? Oh yeah, look at the new Mrs. Holdsworth. This is the first time we're seeing her in quest with her new updated look. We're perfectly well, dearies. Devil's Gap may not be the most comfortable of dwellings, but Sieve has stayed true to her word and kept us safe. It's been like a storybook adventure in real life. I don't know, Beatrix. For an ancient, mysterious, folkloric pit, I expected a little more excitement. Without Sieve around, it's been eerily quiet. Without Sieve? Where is she? Sieve is resting. Opening the portal and ushering us through cost her a great deal of energy as demonstrated by the fact that she was unable to hold the portal as long as she wanted to. She's rested enough. We need to talk to her to convince her to leave Pi alone so she will emerge from the swamp to help us transform Concord. That won't be necessary, Lisa. We've spoken with Sieve and come to an agreement. What kind of agreement? <gasps> um, she's behind you. Oh, she removed her mask. She's beautiful. Guys, we finally got to see the Vala Witch. Okay, I wish they kind of had slow motioned her removing the mask a little bit, because I feel like this is a really big moment. I will transform the foal into her true guardian horse form in exchange for the five-leaf clover. Uh, does she have the power to do that? I don't know. Tin Can doesn't believe so. You worked with Jessica to steal Mrs. H research papers. How can we be sure this isn't a trap? I have, I have no, no interest, interest in the conflict, conflict of, of the Dark, dark riders, riders and Soul Riders. riders. The, question the question is, is are, you are you ready, ready for, for what, what is, to, is come? to come? I don't know. What can she tell us about it? What's to come? Transforming, Transforming Concord, Concord will be an arduous task. task. Testing, Testing your abilities as Soul Riders, but, but without, without each of you, it cannot be done. We're ready. We've been ready for a long time. We all know Anne just cannot wait for the fold to age up. Look at her just floating here. Should I take a selfie with her? Selfie. How beautiful like the feathers are. I love that we're interacting with the Vala Witch so much. Then we shall begin. There, there is, is much, much to prepare. To prepare. I, do I do not doubt, doubt your abilities as soul riders, but, but your experiences, experiences so far have not prepared, prepared you for the magnificent, magnificent terror we will soon unleash. 
gaze into the pool of pandemonium and think carefully about what you see. Stare into the abyss. The Vala, the Vala have learned, learned to harness, harness the powers, powers of, of chaotic, chaotic energy, energy. But, but you've, you've seen, seen for yourself, yourself the price I pay with my own flesh. Yeah, it looks like she's kind of decaying here. Venture, Venture into the cave and peer into the pool of pandemonium. It is the only way to determine if you can withstand the volatile magic contained herein. Oh, her glasses. Did anyone see that? I don't like this, see? But I know I cannot pull the Soul Riders away from their mission. And Alex, Linda, YouTuber, Lisa, take note of who you meet by the pool of pandemonium. Legend has it that it will be someone who reflects part of your innermost self. You must now enter the cave. Can I take my horse? You have not yet gazed into the pool of pandemonium. Okay, I'm going now. Which way is it? Oh, it's this way. Okay, I must be on foot. Here we go. Well, can I take my fox with me? I'm telling you, the fox likes danger. It was found in a Yeti cave. <gasps> Mr. Sands and Katja. Once the fourth general is freed, then we can begin the construction of the gate. Quiet, someone approaches. <gasps> they faded. Okay. Is that like actually something that happened? A conversation between those two? What is that? Something mysterious there. What is that? What the? Who are you talking to? Why do you look like that? What is it? Who are you? <gasps> I went too close. It vanished. I wanted to get a really good look at it. What was that? Oh, I wish I could have walked up to it slower just to get a better look at it. All right, here we go. Step up to the pool. You peer into the pool of pandemonium. Nothing seems to happen. You can now exit the cave. What was it? Nothing happened. So this is the pool of pandemonium. Okay, I guess I can exit. I was hoping to talk to that creature that was there. That figure. Wouldn't that be creepy if there was like a dark version of yourself? Like a dark magic version? An evil version. I swear it was her. Elizabeth. She told me. I should... I, I can't remember what she told me, but I felt better afterward. I didn't see a figure exactly. I just felt this immense presence urging me to stay strong. As I was leaving, I swear I heard it, the plucking of harp strings. I saw a reflection of myself in another life, without the scars, as if Pandoria never happened. Is it weird to say that I wasn't so different from who I am now? What? They all had visions of things? He was in that cave. Mr. Sands around him, like an evil halo, were Narc's tendrils reaching out from the depths of the pool. So, uh, what did you see? Or rather, who did you see? I thought it said I didn't see anything. Elizabeth, Catherine, Mr. Sands, myself. I guess myself, because I didn't see anything. But I did see Mr. Sands, his ghost. What happens if I just say Catherine? Justin's mom? The two of you are deeply connected. It's a strange feeling, thinking of all the soul riders who came before us. Well, actually, I didn't see Catherine, but that's okay. Steve, what do you think? A pandemonium did not consume you. Oh, <gasps> she knows I didn't see anything. You are ready for what is to come. Your, Your next, next task, task is to produce a mask not unlike my own. There are many uses for masks in witchcraft among the Vala. Pandorians and even practitioners more familiar to you. Today, you will use these masks to, to focus your magic. <gasps> Finally, you guys, I was hoping we were gonna get this mask. I've been waiting. Work with Lisa and Alex to earn your Vala mask. Okay, yes, please. My loyal crows guards a collection of unused masks. I can see by the looks on your faces that you understand the difficult challenge you now face. It is an understatement to say that they hold a grudge against you for the zapping incidents. Oops, sorry about that. Ah. There's one of my minions now. Follow him. Where? Oh, where did he go? There he is. Okay, I'm following. Wait, where do I go? Jump. Oop, don't jump. Jump into the pool. Perfect. Did anyone else notice that Steve said the pool didn't consume us? Like what kind of danger were we in back there? I'm glad I didn't know. Even if I had known, I would have still taken the risk. True. My feelings exactly. Where did the crow go? I think I lost it already. Oh, it's up there. There it is. Steve is a bit scary. I mean, if you compare her to the other witches we know, I'm glad we're too big to eat. I don't think she would eat us though. We're here. I see the mass. Look, for the sake of time, I suggest we just zap those crows and mass it down out of the tree. Ready? I don't think we should do that, you guys. Yeah, whoever brought up that violent zapping tactics is a very bad human. I agree with the crows. We should leave them alone. We will consider granting access to the mask if you hand over the mastermind of that warfare. 
I don't know who did that. We were just trying to protect our own old lady witches. Have you ever felt one of those zaps? Uh, no. Zap Alex so she understands. Well, you should hope you never do and perhaps be more discerning about deploying them. Now go away. Wait, maybe we can make a deal with the crows so we can actually get one of the Vala masks? I got this. Where did she get that chainsaw? Alex, put that back in your saddlebag. Alex? No. You kids are not getting any closer to winning us over. Yeah, Alex should leave. She's making this worse. Maybe we should just throw something at the mask to knock them down. Offer the crows some food. Oh yeah, I've got a lifetime supply of cheese curls in my bag. Okay, maybe that'll work. Spreading cheese doodles. Oh, that's what the cheese doodles look like. I think they've been in her saddlebag a little bit too long. Spread the cheese. There you go, eat your cheese doodles. We're coming down. Okay. These taste much better than worms. Okay, the masks are yours. We expect a weekly delivery going forward. Here are the masks. Don't mind the orange doodle dust. <laughs> they got cheese doodles on the mask. I am impressed that you retrieve these masks. You must possess some very powerful magic. The bond between a soul horse and soul rider is unlike no other. It's important that we capture the essence from the transformation. Work with Anne to collect memories from her relationship with previous incarnation of Concord. Anne, you must dive deep into your memories of you and Concord in her previous incarnation. Walk the winding paths of this place and reminisce. How will I find my memories here? We've never been here together. Your memories spilled into the pool and crystallized into fragments that dispersed throughout this place. Find them, examine them, and then use the blue fires to draw the fragments into your mask to make powerful magic. Go, wander, and remember what makes you and Concord so special. Are we gonna play as Anne? Can you imagine if we were able to swap back and forth between the Soul Riders and play as different characters? I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. I'm afraid this will hurt a lot. I hate feeling vulnerable like this. Will you help me? All right, come on, let's do this. There we go. Are we getting a memory? Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, just follow Anne. Go to the memory and jump over the rock. <gasps> Don't fall off the edge, like... Oh, good, I didn't. There it is. We're in the memory. This is the day that Concord and I met. It was dusk. My mom brought me into York Stables for the first time, and there was Concord. We connected immediately. I buried my face in his mane. I smelled it like a warm spring day of hay and flowers. I just knew that I'd found my soul horse. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's look at the next memory. There it is. Here's the memory. Oh, it's the male guy. Oh, you found a happy one. I can't believe I was ever so lighthearted. Concord and I were modeling for Derek. And at the end of the shoot, Concord posed in a long blonde wig and I wore massive sunglasses. <gasps> look, look at how cute. You can actually see them really up close. And wait for me. There's the next memory. Oh, it's Fripp. Ah, oh, this is the first time I, no, we, opened a portal while training with Fripp. I felt so powerful and connected to a world beyond anything I ever imagined. Let's see what this memory holds. There's a horse. Our first competition. We'd been training for weeks, but we lost. Badly. Concord comforted me afterward, gently reminding me that losing is part of life and that we can choose to try again and again. Little did he know just how much those words would mean to me later on. These are wonderful memories, but I sense that the one I need for the transformation is still out there. Let's try to find it. Maybe this is the right one. This is lovely how we get to tour around Devil's Gap too, along with Anne. Oh, look at the crow just flying. Nowhere to go, just being a crow. Oh, we're on the other side of that bridge. This is it. It's Concord and me before Pandoria, before everything. This was the night before we left for the dressage competition in France. These are our last happy moments together before he was taken and I went missing. This is what Steve needs for the transformation. Let's capture this memory and get back to her. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, we've got the memory. This memory will be perfect. The moment we've all been waiting for. Concord's transformation. Oh, this is so wonderful. We're sure everything's set up correctly. No shortcuts, no chance of something going wrong. And it's gonna be all right. We've got your back. Oh, you've got this little sister. They're all right, girl. We've got this. The vol is ready. Oh, this is gonna be intense. Okay, we're all standing around Miss Holdsworth. We've got Beatrix, Lisa, all the horses. You guys, this is a very special moment. Can you feel it? Can you feel the magic? All right, here we go. Last time we're gonna see Concord as a foal, I hope. Even the crows are here. Soul Riders, it is time to see into the unseen. Remember. She put her mask back on. Don your mask, embrace the sight, prepare yourselves for the transformation of the guardian horse. Okay. Oh, I got my mask on, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. We all have our masks on. We're ready. Okay. Oh, 
Wide Leaf Clover is in place. Magic is happening. Across the waters and land, undo and redo, repair and render, heal and destroy, draw from the chaos to burst as under. She's summing the energy from the pool of pandemonium. It's too unstable. It could. Well, it's already happening. Look at Anne's face. Oh, it worked. It worked. Touching. Conquered, is, is it really you? <gasps> this is so sweet, you guys. This is so sweet. I have a lump in my throat. This is so sweet. I'm gonna cry. So many years we have waited for this. Soul of the sun, barrier of Aideen's light. You eclipse all darkness. You are my rider, Anne. <gasps> this is, oh, this is so beautiful. It really is you. I'll never let anything happen to you again. Conquered, never. She's absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is hands down the best Star Stable quest. The best one. Finally, Conquered is grown. Something is seriously wrong. I feel it in the earth. Oh no. Um, something's happening. Should we run? Oh, the portal. What's happening? Oh no. Maybe this is normal for Devil's Gap though. Has anyone ever seen this in Jorvik before? This is what I saw in my vision. Something will rise up from the depth and threaten to consume Jorvik Hall. Conquered's transformation complete. We did it. Hi Conquered, welcome. You look so beautiful. Oh, that's why we needed this area. Um, so what are we gonna do about that though? I wonder what it would look like if you were to leave Devil's Gap and go back to Jorvik. I wonder if you would be able to see this in the sky at all. Steve, what are we gonna do? Oh, she put her mask back on. It is done. Yes, but I think this is just getting started. A chaos of vortex arises from the pool of pandemonium. I fear there is not much time before it seeks to consume all the energy in its path. Wrath of the chaos of vortex, ride to safety before the chaos of vortex catches you. And you guys look, look at my bar here. I'm gonna level up after this, aren't I? This, this is the power, power source, source that, that drains me. me. Go, we must I leave. I will, I will shield, shield you from the worst of it. You heard her, let's get out of here. She's doing magic. Oh, I hope she'll be okay. The Vala Witch is friendly. All right, time to go. <gasps> Let's ride. Go, 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 go. Come on. What? They went through the wall. This way. Come on, Linda. Come on, we can do this. We have to keep going. We can't stop now. Oh no! Oh good! Look it! We got a bridge. Well, that was lucky. There it is. I hope the Vala Witch is okay. Oh. Through the water. Come on, use magic, use magic. There we go. We made it! Wait, where, where are we? We're on the beach. Are we outside of Fort Maria? We did it, we made it. We survived somehow. Can we go swim? No, can't, can't swim still. <gasps> I leveled up! I'm level 23 now! Oh, yes! 
and conquered, what should we do? Let's hope that sieve contains whatever the heck just unleashed out of the pool of pandemonium. Regroup at the Forgotten Fields. That was intense. The situation in Devil's Gap seems to be stable, I think. Let's ride to the Life Warden Tree. There is so much we have to talk about. We should all see that little sapling in its full splendor. Yes, let's ride. You were so brave, Conquered. I miss this. <gasps> oh, she's so beautiful. I'm overjoyed to ride with you again, Sunrider. I may not remember all we've been through together, but I feel it when we gallop. Oh, so touching. It gets you right in the heart. How much do you remember? Are you the same Conquered? I have a vague memory of a special trip we were about to take to a competition, I think. I'm sure with time, I can remember everything again. <gasps> Go on ahead with the others. Conquered and I need a moment together. Hands down the best quest. Look at how cute. They're gonna just reconnect on the beach together. All right, see you guys later. <gasps> I still can't get over how absolutely gorgeous she is. What happens if we ride back through here? Does this take you back into Devil's Gap? <gasps> it does. Yes, you guys can go back and explore Devil's Gap. Wait, no, wait. No, I take it back. No, wait. No, I take it forward. You can go back and explore Devil's Gap any time you want after completing this quest. I mean, I don't think it can get any better than that. Let's leave those two and go check on the little sapling, which is just right up here, right? <gasps> you can still see it. Okay, I answered my own question that if you left Devil's Gap and went into Jorvik, you can see the storm brewing. There it is, there's the Chaos Vortex. Okay, it sits a little bit lower in the sky, but you can see it right up there. I hope the Vala is okay. Oh, I did get that mask too! Bewitched Vala Mask. You earn this mask valiantly in the depths of Devil's Gap. The bark has been painted with a paste of blue moon cap mushrooms, giving it a mystical glow. I think this is my favorite gift from Star Stable for a quest item. This is incredibly special. Um, whoever created this quest in Star Stable definitely needs a raise. They need to be like the head quest person. <gasps> Look at that. The tree, that little tiny sapling we've been taking care of all this time, look at what it turned into. It like merged with the stump that was already there. It's beautiful too. It's just perfection. Look at all of us surrounding it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, did anyone else notice those crazy fast growing roots were trying to help us for once? Yeah, it created a bridge for us. Is everyone okay? I guess Anne and Concord will be here soon. It's probably good that they get a moment alone after all this. Did you see her glasses again? Everyone is well. Blondie here escorted little B and me to safety. Why, I even made it out in one piece. No broken legs or anything. Though, it's many moons since I last got on a horse. <laughs> Except for that camel I rode once. Miss Holdsworth, will Steve be okay? She was fighting with her life against the storm of magic. What if she can't hold it off? Steve is more than capable of holding back the chaos vortex. I wager she's seen much worse in her lifetime. <gasps> Here they come. More bonded than ever. I can't believe how beautiful Conquer is. Conquer, just look at you. You're glorious. Brothers, it's good to be able to keep up with you, but I'm not so little anymore, am I? No, you're a couple hands taller than me. What a sight to see. The sisterhood of soul riders and guardian horses is complete. My heroes. Let me snap a photo so we can remember this forever. <gasps> photo time. This is so sweet. And of course the sapling, which is a full on tree now. I wonder if there's gonna be a little critter that crawls out of that hole there. Look at this beautiful photo. Only Alex was truly looking at the camera though. <laughs> what are our next steps? We go find the dark riders and kick there. But I want to celebrate. It's been a long time coming. I want some cake. Well, can we ride around the island after? Concord and I want to check out all of our old riding paths. Sounds like a plan. Miss Holdsworth, will you be joining us for cake? No, dearies, I'm off to Moreland. That's where I shall stay. It's long past the time that I went home. This adventure has been enough for these poor old bones. But we need you. Dearies, you've proven yourself more capable. Thank you for taking me on an adventure of a lifetime. Hey, do you smell that? A faint odor of cotton candy. Odd, we're nowhere near the circus. Is it Yidris? A storm is brewing. Look at this, and the XP keeps coming. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did you say... Cotton candy. Oh, it is Idris. What is he doing here? Hmm, yes. You just, we're having a celebration and I'm not in the mood for any party tricks. A party at a time like this, little doves? You have no idea what is happening. Are you talking about the chaos vortex? Of course we know about it. We started it. I mean, we saw it. Just look at it. That horrific swirling tendril of doom that looms over the forsaken pit known as Devil's Gap. It's beautiful. Oh no. Yeah, what are we gonna do about that? We can't just leave that, right? Oh no. Uh, yeah, Yidris, we were there when it happened. You were there? You mean to tell me you were all the cause of this imminent doom? Have you any idea of the forces you've unleashed? 
I was a fool to trust you with the five-leaf clover. Things that you have done will not remain here, not just in this place, but also this time, as your limited human awareness perceives it. This will reverberate and echo across past, present, and future. Even I, Ringmaster Yidris, cannot foretell how this chaos vortex you've unleashed will manifest itself. Sure, it looks scary, and it is, but the Soul Riders are finally complete. We got this. Hm. Do not say I didn't warn you. We were simply lucky that the everyday your vegan flea cannot see it. Only those with a connection to magic can peer past the glamour that otherwise conceals it. For now, au revoir. And like that, he's gone. He does seem quite concerned with the Chaos Vortex unleashing into your bit. Yeah, but he has no idea that Siva's thing's under control. Right? Right. It's about time we hit the stables. It's been a long day. I need some rest and the horses need rest. There they go. You've got Devil's Gap mud cake done in your mane. Conquered and I will be taking to Jorvik's trails. Till next time, friends, and thank you for everything. There they go. Huh, what an adventure we had. I'll be at Star Sign Ranch if you want to go and ride together again. Or a spa day. <gasps> yes, okay, Conquered got added into the journal. Sieve has been added to the journal. Um, has the Vortex been added to the journal? Because this is definitely still a problem. Sabine, what is she up to? What? She's talking with Sieve? You survived unscathed. What a stupid and foolish display you just put on at yourself. Soon you will have what you came for, or perhaps you consider the cost too great to justify the means. You know, something else that irks you. Ah, a glimmer of regret in those dark eyes. Your foe has been strength and restored when you could have struck her down. No, there's no honor in defeating a disadvantaged enemy. Spare me your honor among thieves speech. Does your master know you live by this code? Master, you have yet to give me what I came for. Our payment for trapping the old witch Holdsworth and panicking Anne on the road. Very well. Your lost fourth is awaiting you in this location. I suspect it's, or rather, her patience has been sorely tested. You're certain she's here? I've explored the wild woods and found no trace. I will not tolerate deception. Your instincts and senses did not deceive you. She is both here and not here, separate from this time and space. You merely lacked the key. <gasps> is that Runehammer? Runehammer, Gallifer Thompson's splitting mall. So, the Vala witch had it this whole time? Ooh, this is dangerous. Oh no, now, now Sabine has it. Are the legends true? Did you really gift him with immortality? Gift, ha. Huh. The fool should have known that living forever is a curse. Enough questions now. Please leave our enclave. Dark riders, soul riders, druids, your vegan witches. You're all interlopers here. I'm leaving. But if you ever change your mind and realize that it's in your best interest to help defeat the Soul Riders, there will be a place for you among Nark's ranks. Fool. Ooh, what a great scene of her next to these really beautiful drawings. The Vala's power comes from Pandoria and Chaos. As long as the Dark Riders and Soul Riders are at odds, our best interest is being served. Oh. Just like that, she's gone. Okay, but this is still open, right? It's still a problem. Okay, that is definitely a problem that um, that Sabine has them all. Okay, so that's it. That's all the quests. Is that it? Should I ride back into Devil's Gap? Yeah, you can still see the vortex going. Yeah, there it is. Oh, <gasps> this is blocked off now. No, you can't go back in there. Oh no, okay. Hey, there's like little soul shards here. What, I can walk all the way in here? Through the rock? Okay, well, this quest was absolutely perfection. We got to see a lot of different characters. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of magic. There was a lot of really touching stories. If you play this quest, it will definitely be really, really touching. And look at us. We get these beautiful Vala Witch masks that we get to wear that I am absolutely obsessed with. And we get these new areas to explore. It's just absolutely perfect. Oh, I see a snake. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's in the water. It's slithering in the water. All right, thank you for journeying with me. Let me know if you pick up any horses at the bazaar at a 40% discount. Let me know what you thought of this quest. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because, I mean, you cannot miss out on any of the horse adventures. Be the first one to get a new video. Keep being perfectly you, and I'll see you in my next video. Sending you lots of hugs, hearts, magic, and horses. Bye, you guys.